Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I'm so happy to address this conference today on the future of high speed. It is true that when speaking about high speed development, China has now become a reference in consideration of their ambitious transport planning and also their significant results. China high speed trains carried more than 1.2 billion passengers in 2016. This is the equivalent to feeling a medium-sized European high-speed train with 350 seats every 9 seconds, and this all day of the year, without stopping. The equivalent on Acela trains, about 300 seats, would be around one train every 8 seconds for the entire year. Moreover, in 2016, 2,200 kilometers, or 1,400 miles, of new high-speed lines were opened for commercial operation in China. That is more in one year than the entire French high-speed network, which took 35 years to build. Traffic in China has increased by 30% in 2016, while since 2008 the rate of increase has been 10% each year. The rest of the world also continues to make progress in terms of kilometers of lines, number of trains and new services. Not necessarily at the same scale as China, but each in its own way. Yes, we can say globally that new traffic is created after a new high-speed line has opened. But much of the traffic comes from the need for mobility in general. If all the traffic carried on high-speed trains should be carried by planes, cars or buses, it should represent the emission of more than seven times the impact to the environment. Because high-speed rail uses electric traction, it is instantly compatible with all sources of energy. Currently, the world's electricity mix includes about 20% renewable energy. As this increases each year, carbon emissions from high-speed rail will improve even further. Not only is the rail system the most emissions-efficient major mode of land transport, but it also offers the best use of space, land space. A high-speed railway line provides more capacity than a highway which takes three times more land. Now, you ask me about safety. In terms of safety, up today, no one fatal railway accident in commercial operation at more than 250 kilometers per hour, 150 miles per hour. You ask me also about capacity. Well, railway mainly brings Capacity. You know, when you couple two high-speed train sets together, you can carry at more than 300 kilometers an hour close to 1,000 people. And this with a head-on time of three to four minutes between each train set. This is the equivalent of 500 cars on congested highways. This is also, in terms of capacity, a very sustainable solution for the new congestion of cities. Well, first, I thank you very much for inviting me to tell you a few words, and I'm sorry that I cannot be with you physically. But as an observer of global trends, UIC, which I represent, must have a very strong vision for the future. This means that the investments must be planned in advance, and UIC can help you to take the best decisions. And in fact, we are already doing it. These decisions are to be taken today but they are for the future and the future of your children and their children. And you have to do it right, but right now. This means thinking about intermodality, accessibility and not only mobility, and also the optimization of resources offered and fostered by high speed. This also means providing to society with solutions to the mobility that we can expect will be in the next 20, 30 years. The developments that we see in California today, with the California High Speed Rail project in particular, will be decisive for the development of high speed on the entire American continent, and thanks to all the benefits it can bring to the social and economic development of your country in terms of mobility planning, decongestion of cities, 
transport integration, sustainable development, and last but not least, jobs creation. If one misses this turn, it is the American citizen who will be deprived of all the fundamental advantages offered by high speed and this for the next two generations. In this context, well, UIC can help American uh, high speed rail actors to continue and to accompany them in this development in order to try to even do it better with all the experience of their colleagues all around the world through UIC membership. So, thank you very much for these questions and uh, I wish all the participants to this conference very fruitful exchanges and very strong and solid vision for your future. Thank you very much.